and welcome back to How To. Tutorials easy enough that even you can do them. Last week I taught you this video, which was our sunflower. This week I'm going to teach you how I stain the work so that you can get all of the depth that I do with my pyrography. <laughs> As always, this is a list of what I'm going to be using. The list will also be down below. And before I get started, make sure that you like and follow if you want to see more of my content and learn how to make pyrography art the way I do. Okay, let's get to it. So this is how we left off in our previous video. I'm going to start by washing out any of my watercolour pencils and then slowly adding water and watercolour. The watercolour soaks in, don't let it sit on top of it because then it will be a paint, not a stain. You don't want it to shift when you do your lacquering. Always starting with mid-tones and then moving into low lights. You can always add more but you can't take it away. So you can see here I am gradually going up the colour scale to try and add depth to my artwork. Now here's the big secret to make it pop. My stain. This is the stain I use and I water it down so that it can really create depth and dimension. To get the background to be vignetted, yes I think I said that right, I water down sections at a time so that I have more control over how pigmented the stain is. Because this is not friendly. It is not user friendly. Please only use this for experienced stainers. <laughs> I do the sides so that it always sort of leaves it polished and then I move on to my highlights. White always shifts which is why I mix my white paint in with the lacquer that I use on top. I let it dry before I seal everything but this is how I get my highlights to look so good. I pour on my lacquer and then it's a pat pat slide motion otherwise you're going to shift anything that isn't 100% soaked in. And this is how it turned out. Let me know if you use this technique and if you make your own sunflower. I hope that you learned something new and that you like this. If you do try this style of art, I would love it if you tag me in it. I want to see what you do. These are my socials. Make sure you're following them. Excuse me, car. These are my socials. Make sure you're following them and give me a tag. I want to see what you do. If you have a suggestion for something you would like to learn, Make sure that you just leave a comment and I will get back to you as soon as possible. <laughs> See you next time, lovelies.